12 years ago, when I started working at a big tech company, fresh out of college, I learned the power of mentoring firsthand. But I also noticed that not every mentoring relationship is outstanding, which left me wondering if there is a formula we can follow. Luckily, I believe that I was able to identify the three key ingredients that will create an extraordinary mentoring experience, and that is what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to state the obvious to get it out of the way. The mentor and mentee need to get along well. They don't need to be best friends, but they both need to enjoy their conversation for this to work. Let's talk about the first ingredient. During the mentoring session, you cannot just talk about random stuff every time. And the only way you can avoid that is by having a clear goal, which could be a new skill, a new position, personal growth. You get the idea. During a big portion of the conversation, you need to discuss the plan, the step, and the progress. But most importantly, any roadblocks that are preventing progress, because that is where the mentor can actually demonstrate and share the tools and techniques that will propel the mentee forward. Mentorship is the bridge between potential and achievement. Moving on to the second key ingredient. If you meet maybe once every two months, and when you do meet, there is little progress, the mentoring program is destined to fail. A successful mentoring relationship requires consistent effort and commitment from both the mentor and the mentee. Regular and frequent meetings, follow through on discussions, and a genuine investment in each other's success are crucial. This consistency helps build trust and momentum, allowing the mentee to progress steadily. A mentor doesn't just show you the path, they walk it with you. Now, let's talk about the last and most important ingredient. Imagine the following. Your company has a mentorship program, but they have assigned a mentor to you that is 10 years younger. He's in a different stage of his life. He has little empathy for your lack of progress and you start to feel anxious from the moment your meeting starts. We can see that this will not work. For mentoring to be effective, there must be mutual respect and willingness to learn from one another. The mentee should be open to feedback and new perspectives, while the mentor should respect the mentee's individuality and encourage their growth. This creates a positive, supportive environment where learning and development can thrive. But if you want to be a successful mentor, you first need to have your rocks in order. Otherwise, everything I just explained is useless. You should watch this video next. Thanks for watching. See you next video.